everyone, welcome back. Well, I'm looking at a brand new cigar, and I'm pretty sure you've never heard of it. It's brand new to the cigar scene. This is the Despot Pyramid, Pyramid, if you will. It is six by 52. There is the density. This is from a family that originated in the cigar business in Serbia. They're two brothers, and I'm gonna to try to pronounce this, Jovan and Huglaista Despot is the second generation of Despot family in the cigar business. Their father in 2004 launched the cigar scene in Serbia. And after the two brothers finished their studies, they decided they wanted to start uh, making a private label called Despot Cigars. Now, the thing that got my attention about this, and I found this on Small Batch Cigar, is that they use Nicaraguan, primarily Nicaraguan tobacco. The cigars are made in Nicaragua. So I thought, well, let's give it a shot. Now it uses an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, Ecuadorian Habano binder, and the filler is from uh, Viso, uh, um, Esteli, using Viso, and uh, Viso from Pennsylvania, the USA, and Seiko Jalapa from Nicaragua. They use the same blend in all of their cigars, and they also come, it comes in a Lancero, Corona, and a Robusto. You are viewing the Pyramide today, 6552. So, uh, not much else is known, and uh, I thought it was worth giving them a shot. So, let's get right to it. The new Despot Pyramide. Little green cloth band here at the foot. Slides right off. No, no issue, no problem. All right, we've got a nice sharp torpedo end pyramide. Okay, good draw. It's always a good thing with a torpedo or a pyramide or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, good draw. We've got a bittersweet grapefruit. I get both. A little nutmeg, raw almonds, a touch of brown sugar, and light black coffee. Black pepper at about seven. So, not a lot of typical uh, sweetness of Nicaraguan tobacco at this point, but that could change. Bitter, sweet grapefruit. But well, that's how you start, so let's see what we have at the first third. First third. And not much has changed. There's not an elevated amount of sweetness. There is a touch. They are really close to having a really good cigar here. It's, it's, it's missing a few things. For their Nicaraguan tobacco, I think they might need to select some that's a little, has a little more sweetness to it. They, I think this is the first try, uh, first cigar they put out. So I'm trying to be helpful in case they see this. You're close. Um, don't worry about the score so much, but you're really close. You need a little more sweetness in the tobacco. That being said, 
same flavor notes, elevated black coffee now, um, the exact same flavor notes. There's just a touch of sweetness combining with the, more or less the, the nutmeg and the almonds, and then you get a little bit of sweetness. It's not a lot, but it's some. The finish is sort of a, I can get a little bit of almonds, earthy black coffee, a little nutmeg, average lingering black pepper, medium bodied at best. First third already 87. It's, it's um, while that might not, you know, score wise sound like you're really close. It is. I mean, there's a lot of nice notes there, but not enough sweetness for me. Uh, I know that typical Nicaraguan tobacco has a lot of sweetness. There, there is plenty of varietals of Nicaraguan tobacco that will yield sweetness. So I think you can just experiment and find them. But that's the first third. Uh, let's see if it's, you know, this, this may be the track that we're on. Let's just see if it's going to maintain this or, or we want to improve. Into the second third, time to remove the band. Flavor notes are the same, except there could be a little more. There is a little more of that bitterness that came back. It's, uh, oops, scorched the band right there. Look at that. Okay. Well, anyway. Again, same type flavor notes, a little bit of bitterness to go along with that grapefruit. Not so much sweet, but more bitter now. I will have to drop the score to 86. Like I said, it's about the same. It's just a little more bitterness came in like it was at the beginning. Everything else is basically the same. It, the cigar is not changing much. And it's not going in the direction I want it to. Uh, it's, um, well, perhaps this is possibly blended for an European taste. I don't know. Um, not really the kind of Nicaraguan-ish cigar that I would like to, uh, to taste of. 86 for the second third. Again, a few tweaks. I believe they could have something here. This, I believe their next one, and I would be willing to try the next version they come up with, just out of curiosity. But uh, we'll have to see how the final third plays out to see if it's going to jump up or stay the same. Down to the end. So let's wrap it up. Lost some of the bitterness. Basically, we went back to the first third. Everything. You got uh, your grapefruit with a little bitter sweetness. Light brown sugar, nutmeg, earthy black coffee. Medium body. Finishes a lot of black coffee. A little nutmeg. Good lingering black pepper now. <clears throat> but the cigar is okay, but it's below my um, desire. Uh, I'll go back to 87. I think with a little tweaking, this could be a good cigar, but judging this one, your overall score is 86.67. That's where I think it should be, and uh, I wish them luck. Uh, I hope they could get a nice blend that's a little sweeter, a little more sweetness. We need a little more citrus other than grapefruit, bittersweet grapefruit. So that'll do it. I mean, these are available at Small Batch Cigar. And if you use Tiny Tim as a code, you'll get 10% off if you want to try them. 
Connie Tim works on any cigar that small batch sells. 10% off. And always you'll get free shipping. So that'll do it. The new Despot Cigars Pyramids 86.67.